Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Salvation Elite. We are back with another video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that little short video we did two days ago talking about Roster Mania. I mean, so many of you guys loved it, so that mean that got me really excited. I'm I'm hyped that so many people were enjoying that and finding that. So obviously, get me really excited to make this one. Man, there has been so much going on, guys. Like, come on, there's been so much going on. As we all know, Optic Gaming has been going through its troubles, its issues lately. And this week has been the culmination of all these issues the past few months. So today what we're going to do is just go over what we know so far, when we think we're going to get the announcement, and what outcomes of Roster Mania. What's going to happen with Optic is basically what we're going to try to figure out. But let's just get right into this because we got so much to cover. The first question is what do we know so far? What we know so far is the COD Burner account on Reddit has leaked a little bit of information, which Hitch kind of verified some of it and said some of it was fake. First of all, that Optic basically didn't prepare at all for Seattle. After they lost in season one in the finals, they scrimmed maybe once or twice, I think Krim said in the in the CODcast last night. And most people suspect that Seth has been the problem, that Scumpy hasn't really doing his fair share of work for the team. That's just been the rumor. I really don't know. And what Hitch said was definitely not true was that Optic in the leak said that they didn't care about the event because they already knew they were dropping karma which hitch said was just definitely not true so when hitch is around the bar he said that he really had no idea what was happening he had no idea who's leaving who's staying he hadn't been informed at all but then later in the stream he said that vision which is releasing next wednesday which is optics documentary series for those of you who don't know that is going to be extremely sad and talking about the cod team so I mean, obviously, that means for sure somebody's leaving. Based off of everything that we know so far with the COD burner, with the leaks, with the pro player tweets, with Karma's wife really talking a lot on Twitter and not being very happy, with Karma's comments in the COD cast last night, I'm almost 100% confident that Karma's getting dropped or that Karma's not going to be on Optic in one way or another next event. So from there, we need to figure out who's going to replace Damon Karma Barlow. But what I was talking about last video, as of two days ago, the most likely theories that Karma was going to get dropped and Gunless was going to replace him. There's definitely been some filtering to that theory, but what seems to be happening is that Krim and Skump had said that they would want a team with Formal and Gunless, not just Formal and someone else. And so it seems like if Formal can't get Gunless to join Optic, basically that means if Gunless isn't on Optic, that means Formal won't be on Optic. And so it's really tough to tell at this point. So, I mean, at the end of the day, what ended up happening apparently is Skump and Karma are really butting heads, clashing a lot. Last night on the CODcast, Krim basically didn't give any information regarding what Optic's doing for their roster and said that he had planned on coming on the CODcast before Seattle, which implies that Optic wasn't planning on breaking up before Seattle. That's really interesting to me because that means Seattle was the breaking point. But at the end of the day, you can see it coming considering they didn't practice at all leading up to the event. So it's just a weird situation where like if they would have practiced they would have probably finished top six at least and i mean then are they breaking up i don't know and again during the podcast crim was asked by nameless um what teammate that you've played with in the past would you not want to team with again and then karma commented scump like i don't know if he's trolling i don't know if he's just trying to like throw wood in the fire to make this thing just hilarious or he's just that pissed it's, it's one of the two. There's nothing in between. Either he's just so pissed, he just doesn't care anymore, and he's just, like, commenting scump, like, in these questions, or it's just all a troll, and he's commenting scump because think, he thinks it's hilarious. But, I mean, at this point, with how much is leaked, it, it, it's got to be that he's being dropped. So, Mercs, not Merc, but Mercs, said in his stream, he knew that Karma was getting dropped. Like, oh, yeah, basically everyone knows that. But, like, he said it in a way that, like, basically confirmed that Karma was getting dropped. And then this gets us into our next theory, which is that Krim and Skump were trying to team with Octane and John. But then the report has been that Octane was down for it, but John has been really hesitant and possibly even said he's not joining. Right now, Skump and Krim are really not sure what to do. If Gunless isn't sure if he wants to join, if John's not joining, then they, they, then maybe they have Octane and, you know, then they have to find one more player. So, at this point, that seems like the most likely option, that Krim and Skump will stay on Optic and Octane and somebody else would join them. There's still a chance that Gunless and Formal somehow make that happen to make that work. There's still a chance. So many of you guys commented, like, why would Gunless leave Rise? But to me, it's really obvious why Gunless would leave Rise. If you're leaving Rise to Optic Gaming, you'll instantly gain like 100,000 plus followers on all social medias. You'll instantly, I mean, you're going to be paid probably double what you're getting paid now. And 
I mean, you get the chance to be on Optic Gaming, the most prestigious organization in Call of Duty, and you get to be the first roster change in like, what, three and a half years on, on Optic? So, I mean, there's a lot of really cool things that happen for you when you join Optic Gaming, and I don't think winning another championship means as much to a young guy like Gunless as the money, the followers, and everything else that comes with being in Optic Gaming. So basically, at this point, what we know is that Krim and Skump should be staying together. We basically know for sure that Karma is getting dropped. We don't know yet if Formal is going to stick around. We don't know if Octane's joining or Gunless is joining. But Octane and Gunless seem like to be the most likely options. For me, if Karma and Formal don't stay, the most likely options for me seem to be FaZe for Formal. And then maybe a random roster for a little while for Karma if he doesn't retire. And then I could see him going to 100 Thieves, starting up his new team on 100 Thieves, getting that revenge tour on Optic through 100 Thieves, which would be a pretty awesome storyline. With that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, man, there's been a lot going on. I really appreciate you guys all sticking around for the whole video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. We're trying to build a community here. Um, the link to the Discord channel is down below if you guys want to join a COD community and just hang out down there. And... The coaching tip series forms are still available. You guys can submit stuff down below. Um, I really appreciate that. Make more videos, make more content for you guys, and help you guys get better at Call of Duty. But as always, guys, I'm your boy, Salvation's Elite, and we'll see you next time. I'm <coughs> sure you pull that in the right direction. So again, in this situation, JCap knows that they're going to be still spawning back bust. And so what he does is that he gets himself into the right position on the stairs to allow for them to rally this flag.